Hello children, how are you all doing? Hope you all are doing good. Today I welcome you all for the second language English poetry session class 9. What's the name of the poem? You can see there a girl called Golden by David Batson. Okay, let's come to the children. I welcome you all once again for this session. You are welcome. Okay, take your textbooks. Take the pre-learning activity from the textbook. Okay, now first what you have to do is identify the names of the games by reading the action. You will see an action. By that you have to identify it. You have to recognize which game that is. Okay, now see the first picture there. The name of the game is, yes, what is that? Running is a athlete. Okay, is running. Next one. The name of the game is here. What is this? You call it cycling. Yes, good. Next one, children. The name of the game is yes, you all are very familiar with this. Your favorite game? Cricket. Next one, children. The name of the game is yes, you all play this. Yes, volleyball. Next one, children. The name of the game is what is this? Archery. Yes, children. Next one. The name of the game is yes, hockey. Yes, and finally, the name of the game is what is that? Basketball. Yes, you have really identified all the games. Why we have taken games today for our poem? This is very important. Yes, you have understood the name of this poem. What is that name? A girl called Golden. See, girl called Golden. She is not gold, but she is a gold medalist. Okay, that is what we are calling her Golden. By whom? David Batson. Okay, let us see. Here you can see the running race, is it not? The girl is heading. Let us see in our poem who is what. Okay, this poem or uh, the poet who is written here is David Batson and he is the David Batson. Okay, children. Now, let us see his details. About the poet David Batson, 1921 to 1998, was an Australian poet and a photographer. David was well known among the network of children's authors and illustrators who met at journalist club at Sydney. Besides writing poems for children, David was interested in ocean theatre and photography. He interested in Ocean Theatre and Photography. He has published children's poems in numerous magazines and has anthologies of his own. So, this is what about the history of poet. Now, we are moving on to our poem that is a girl that is a girl called Golden by David Batson. Now, let us take the poem children. Okay. Are you all ready? Please read along with me. Why did you run when your schoolmates were walking? Why did you sprint if they started to run? Why did you train while others were playing? What was the secret that made it seem fun? Was it the feel of the fresh air and sunshine? Was it the stare of the breeze in your hair? What made the coach recognize you was special? Was it because you had courage to spare? Was it the feel showing your will Showing your will 
when the muscles were aching long spells of effort and much to be learned heeding the words that some others rejected knowing that winning could only be earned time slipped away then came the olympics still in your teens but spurred on by the cheers glory at last as you gain your gold medals a time to remember the rest of your years yes children this is what about the this is what the poem was and now let's come to the poem let's see what is the poem about this stated poem is an ode what is ode okay let's see what is ode ode means a poem written in praise of some person so here whom we are praising really whom really we wanted to know let's see who that person is next this poem is written by written on betty cathbert see this is very important it is all about this poem is all about betty cathbert by name elizabeth cathbert okay now betty cathbert was an australian athlete okay she is an athlete and she was a great sprinter and had won three gold medals at 19 at the 1956 olympic games in melbourne okay she has won three gold medals you you just can't imagine why the poet is telling her gold you you remember so this is what she is so only is calling gold medals medalist now she added a fourth gold medal at the 1964 olympics in tokyo so she has won four gold medals in olympics this is the important thing which you have to remember why poet make is make it a point that a girl called gold okay now see there betty cuthbert which we are we are learning all about the poem this is the woman this is the athlete australian athlete with uh, really with whom we have to understand that she is not a just woman she is the gold medalist which won her great great fame in the world now this author this poet also remembers a girl called golden in the form of this woman great woman okay children now let's come to our poems glossary okay now see the po- word there the word first word is sprint okay you have heard while reading this word this poem you have heard this word sprint to run or go very fast for a short distance you make it a point that some they just walk very slowly but here it is not just slow it is a very fast you uh, it is not a run but it is very fast you have to you are moving very fastly let's see for the sentences there sprint running can make you win the race so you are not just a runner you are a sprint runner means you are very fast okay next word coach next word is coach a person who teaches and trains an athlete or performer any performance one who teaches or for any athlete one who trains is a person who is called as coach now look for the sentences my father he is my best coach for anything so my father is the best coach yes many say that come to the next word spurred okay what's the meaning of that encourage to to try harder to achieve something to achieve something like let's look for the sentences children the chance to win the scholarship spurred his son into studying so that chance that encouragement So making him to work hard for to get the scholarship now let's look for the another word spells 
So, meaning of that spell C is a period of time, a period of time. Now, look for the sentences children, what is that? Lit the light at the spell of right moment, otherwise who knows tomorrows, who knows tomorrows. You have to lit the light in the right moment, otherwise next minute itself what happens God knows. Next one children, heed meaning of that to pay careful attention, to pay careful attention. Let us see for the sentences there. Children listen to the story with the heat because they do not want to miss the climax. So, they do not want to miss the climax. So, they are very much interested or concentrated in listening to stories. Next one children, glory, fame, praise and honor. The meaning is fame, praise and honor. Let us see the sentences there. As the morning prayers went on, the glory of the sun beams were brightening the earth. You could see those are really used to the morning walk. They really enjoy that uh, sun's uh, early beams. Is it, it will be very beautiful, is it not? Now, we will come to the discuss about the summary part of this poem. What the poem is speaking about and what we have to learn from this. Let us see children. First thing, the poet David Batson writes about a golden runner by name Betty Cathbert, okay. by name Betty Cathbert. This is all the poem is about this Betty Cathbert. Now, she was an Australian runner or athlete and she was a great sprinter and had won three gold, medal, gold medals at the 1956 Olympic, Olympic Games in Melbourne. And Betty also got another gold medal at the 1964th Olympics in Tokyo. Now, the poet states that it is all because of her, her hard work and perseverance. Why she has received four gold medals? It is all because of her hard work and perseverance. The poet also writes that she ran when her classmates were walking. See, this is you have to note this. Running, no, she was running as the classmates were walking. I mean, she is the you can see her uh, the spirit of running in her childhood itself. She ran fast when others were only running. They were, when they started to run, she was leading them, means she was fast in the in her running. Now, we can see the sentence there. When others were playing, she was training others. When others, when all others were playing, she was training other children how to run. The poet is curious about her success, really even we are curious because they make different in the childhood itself because these great personalities, they show that they are something different in the childhood days itself. Yes, we learned Kapil Dev's life also. And even we can see here Cuthbert life also, is it not? Now, children see the other sentence. She listened to the coach and others and made a lot of effort to keep herself fit. See, this is very, very important. She listened to the coach. See, whatever we teach, even in the schools, children learn when they listen keenly to the teachers. Otherwise, they can't. Even here, she has she listened to the coach and made her own effort after listening to that. She kept herself fit. See, when you listen to elders or when you listen to the coach or when you listen to your parents or when you listen to anybody who really well wishes, you really become very good or something successful in your field. Okay. Now, next come to the next sentence. She did not pay attention 
to any physical pain and aches. So, there is no uh, gain without any pain. You have to undergo all the pains, but here she did not care for that physical pain. When you start running, you really feel the muscles aching and you do not feel like running the other day, but she never cared all those pains and aches. She just neglected and what she did? Because her only aim was reaching her goal. See, when we focus on our goal, other things will not be a matter. Okay. Now, we are moving on to another point. She possessed a strong will power. This is very, very important not only for Betty Cuthbert, it is very, very important for everyone. Because when we do not have a strong motive or strong will, we cannot be successful or we cannot do anything uh, successful. So, when you want to be successful or when you want to be something good or something famous or something in your academic, you should have a strong will power. Then children, it is only her hard work, dedication, perseverance, listening capacity and patience, she could succeed in her life. Yes, she was the obedient children I suppose because you could see her dedication, perseverance, hard work, listening capacity, patience, everything which really a student or learner should have and that she had and she became successful. This is what a person who really possess when finally they keep up all this ethics in their life. Okay. And now come to the other sentence, hard work never goes in vain. So, when you put something, some effort, not for the waste work, for a good intention, if you put all your effort, it will always paid or rewarded, it always pay us back. So, you should not be discouraged when it, when you lose something or when you are really lost something. When you tell mom, I practiced a lot, I lost this, but you should also remember that you should need some more practice to get or become successful. So, work hard so that with a strong will so that you will be successful. This is what we learn from a Betty Cathbert. Now children, we are coming to the title of this poem. How you feel the title about? See, the poet has given, what the poet has given the title? The poet David Betson writes title as a girl called Golden. Will that title suitable for her? About the famous Australian athlete Katy Cathbert, Betty Cathbert, will that be suitable? See, the title is suitable, very applicable as she is the gold medalist, it stands supporting the title. She is also, she is the one who resembles gold medals, okay. So, she is the golden girl, okay. Now, we come to the rhyme scheme of the poem. Okay. Now, let us see, uh, before go into the rhyme scheme, let us know what is free verse. Children here, free verse means, a free verse poem is a poem where the poet is free to create the rules of the poem and express individual creativity. There is no rhyme in free verse and therefore, no particular rhythm pattern. So, why we have taken this free verse to our poem? You should remember this, our poem also free verse because it is like written freely and with the individual creativity to express his own ideas, is it not? So, our poem is also free verse. Now, let us see one example for free words. I like to see the stockings, I like to see the gifts, I like to see the bells, I like to see the tree and I like to see the Santa looking at me. Can you see the rhyming words there? Stockings, gifts, bells, tree, Santa, me. Each line is making different sounds, is it not? 
and you might say ma'am yes yes uh, is rhyming the same but can you see the rhyming ends with the same sounds there see first sound is a stockings ings sound is ending there gifts the sound is ending there so we give give it that rhyme scheme as b and bells l ls are ending there so we give c there and for tree e sound is ending for that we give d and for santa r sound is ending we give e and me is e sound we give d so each one differs but here you can see d there d d since the sound is not matching as for the rhyme scheme we make it as free words okay we give this poem as free words now let's come to our poem why did you run when your school mate were walking why did you sprint if they start to run why did you train while others were playing what was the secret that made it seem fun okay now come to our rhyme scheme first one is a and the second one is b and the third one is c and the fourth one is d you you might ask ma'am run run same words there is no rhyme rhyming other word okay for that only we have given d there and next one is e and the next one is f and the next one is g and finally h okay so it comes because eight lines are there we give each line a rhyme scheme okay and this comes under free verse free verse where a poet takes his own time to write creatively not like rhythmically okay he can write in free verse to express his ideas now come to the homework part of our poem home assignment children please take your notebook and please write down what made the coach recognize that betty was special okay she was unique okay special next which line in the first stanza suggests that betty actually enjoyed what she was doing third one which line in the third stanza suggest it is not easy to become a winner it is not so easy to become a winner next children you have to think and answer do you think the title a girl called golden is appropriate give reasons next one what inspiration you take to your life from betty's achievements did you get any inspiration if so please write down okay next translate this poem in your mother tongue so children please sit try to understand this poem and try to translate this so that you can make it better understanding of this poem Okay, children. Finally, I conclude this poem, and hope you have enjoyed this poem. Thank you so much. God bless you all.